Hello, this is WombatSack and welcome to my channel. Today, a tutorial on how to make 16 segment displays. Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to make one of these. It's a 16 segment display uh, using pistons. Uh, you've seen this in my previous videos. What we're going to do first is we're going to build the front face and that requires an 11 ver horizontally by 15 vertical uh, frame that looks a lot like this. Here's one I made earlier. Repeater styling. Now we're going to mimic this pattern here in pistons in the back frame. So we're going to start from the bottom and work our way upwards. So what we're going to want to do first is put in this center one, center spacer, and then three sticky pistons either side. Like that. And then fill in the ends with the spaces. Uh, now for the center lower center section, so one space up and then three. And for the sides we want to go five up, so one, two, three, four, five, and the same on this side. Right over there. Like that. Two spaces here, this is the center line. We're going to do the diagonal lines now, diagonal segments. So starting here in the corner, ignore this one, and two up there, that's just a spacer, I couldn't bother to switch blocks. And then one in there. Again in the diagonal spacer, two up, and then one there. For the center horizontals, just spacers and then fill in with three on either side. Like that. And there we go, that's the bottom half done. You can see it's the same. Uh, now we're going to go and mirror that on the top. Uh, so we want to go from here, five up. And on this side as well. Space in the middle, and three up from there, and then two spaces to the top. Space in there, space in there, and one, two, three, one, two, and three. And the last diagonals, we go in one there, and one in that diagonal, and then ignore that one. The two in there, that one's just the spacer again. And same pattern and there, and ignore that one. There we go. And there we have it. Those are our 16 segments. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to fill in these holes. Join me in a second once we've done that too. Okay, so now we've filled in all those gaps. What we're going to do is we're going to put in the next two layers. Uh, it's a bit tedious and time consuming, but obviously it's necessary. So. Where there's no piston, you come out to, like such. Uh, but if there is a piston, then you only put one, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. Uh, if you want to do that too, uh, I'll be back in a second. Right, so there we go. We have completed the face of the display uh, with all the segments in place. And now what we're going to do is the more interesting part, which is complete the wiring at the back. So if we go around to the back, we'll see all the back of the pistons. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it from this into this. Uh, which may look a bit messy, but all of these coloured wall blocks are the access point for each individual segment, which you can then do with what you want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the left hand side and the centre, and then the right hand side is just a mirror image. So we're going to start up with this segment here, which is the corresponding to here. So let's go across and do it. What we're going to want to do is first two out there, and then two out here, here, and here. And you're going to want to destroy that block as well. So repeaters, join them together with redstone, a block out to here, and then 
we're going to want to go to our wall and make this the white segment. There we have it. That is the first segment done. Wasn't that easy? Right, so that was the first segment. Uh, we're going to do the second one now, this orange segment, which is the first vertical segment that we'll come to, which is this one here. Let's go over here and build it. What we'll need to do is we'll need to take out this segment and replace it with glass and build two out here. Those uh, modifications just completely isolate it from this circuit here. Uh, then we need to come out two and then one across from there and then six from that one from the centre piston and five from that one. All right. Now bring this out one and then like that to create a little staircase around. And then from here, we want one in that diagonal, one up, and delete that one, so it's just on its own there. And then we want one here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go a repeater there, we're going to have a repeater there, and a repeater there. We're going to have a repeater there, and a repeater there. Redstone torches now. We want to have a redstone torch there, and there. And now redstone itself, one, two, like that. Uh, we want redstone wire there, there, and there. And then finally, we want redstone wire up here as well. So now, if we go to our wall and we go to the orange one, we notice the orange wall is here, so we'll put it there as well. And we uh, go back to our tools. Put that on there and give it a, a look at that. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, redstone here as well. There we go. We have our horizontal segment, a uh, vertical segment, sorry, is closed. Didn't really give an illustration of this one working. Let's uh, show that one as well. There you go, that's the first segment there. So that's two segments down. Right, so time for the uh, third segment, which is this pink one, purpley pink one here, uh, which will do this vertical one, the second vertical segment. So let's go over what we want to do here. And start from the top, we want to put one in, and then from this point here, which is just next to the piston, we want to go three out, and now vertically down from there, but on the piston, one, two, three, four. On this one, one, two, three, and then out, and make the staircase, and now here, you're going to want to put your colour block. Now for the actual redstone stuff, we want to go repeater, repeater. And again, repeater, repeater. And last repeater on the middle one of those three. And then the rest of it is redstone. So just fill it in. Like so, let's check that it's all there, and check that it works, and there we have it, the next vertical segment, so that's this one, and we've also got that one as well. So that's that segment done. We're going to go ahead and do two segments in one go this time, because they're these two bottom ones, which are stupidly easy. Uh, you can see just three repeaters for each one. So, they need a tutorial for this one, but I'll do it anyway. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. If you want to, which I will, I'm going to take out these bits of grass, go to my colours, and then label them. So, uh, as you can see, I've got the first eight colours of wool on that set, and then the next eight on that set. Obviously, we'll need all of them to make 16. And then just redstone all those together, and redstone all together. Hmm, redstone looks darker on wool. Interesting. Or oh, it's just the light. Oh anyway, yes. Uh, and obviously, that's just going to take out these two bottom segments here. Uh, very simple stuff. Obviously, those are just mirrored from the top segments. So what I've done here is I've just gone ahead and done the mirror image, as I said I would, on the other side. 
these are exactly the same as their uh, counterparts on the left hand side so if you can't remember how to make them just look back to earlier in the video just remember to mark the time where you're up to uh, these all work perfectly fine so that's the uh, bottom left hand vertical and that's the upper left hand vertical and that's the left hand on the top uh, and of course I'll follow the colour round uh, so using the first colours uh, eight colours I've used green, pink and then grey and that completes the outer ring uh, we're now going to go ahead and look at the centre ones so we're now going to move on to the centre segments and we're going to start off here with this dark white segment uh, which is the first of the diagonals so let's go over here and put it in place what we're going to do is we're going to start this is the first piston of the diagonal we're going to start by going out two below it and then below that we're going to start two with leaving one there and then below the cent these two we want to go out four put one in there and delete that one and below it we're going to go uh, below the last one of it we're going to go out three so those are the blocks now for the redstone put a repeater there a repeater here and two repeaters there and fill in the rest, including this one, don't forget that one, that was important, with redstone. Uh, this one we can replace with our colour, which is the white, and then we can power it up. There we have it, the first diagonal is done. So time for the uh, two center horizontal segments. I'm going to do them both together in uh, one block, although we have to mind that we use the right colors when they're labeled them later. Uh, I'm not sure what this repeater is doing here, but oh well. Uh, let's go put it there. So on this one, it's the same as these really. What we want to do is we want to have two, three, one, two, three, and then out, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then out one. And then repeaters, and redstone. Uh, taking care to label them correctly, uh, we want this blue one, turquoise is blue, and we want the dark green one. We power those correctly. There we go, two centre segments there. I'm now going to go around in the correct order. Okay, time for the first lower diagonal. Uh, this is the right hand side one, uh, which is the purple uh, segment. So for this one, what we need to do is we need to go one, two, three, four, five out. Put one there and delete that one. And then one, two, three, four. A block on the end of that bit there, a block there. Now repeaters, we want a repeater there, 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 and there. Now for the fiddly bit, we need to get behind here, put in a redstone torch and another torch here to cancel that one out. And then Redstone the rest, so there, and we can get rid of this block here and put in our colour, the next colour being this dark purple. Redstone on top, put in that, fill on the side, we have our diagonal filled in. Time for the lower centre segment now, which is this blue one here, uh, which tucks nicely in the middle. For this one, we're going to start here on this spacer, and we come out five. That's five there. Uh, put one above that one there, and then take out the last two. Redstone down here. Ignore that one. We're then going to go with a torch here to a block. Uh, a torch here, a block, a block there between those two and a torch here. Now we're going to put torches there and there. 
and you probably want to uh, put a torch quickly and then down again just to pick up any blocks that were lost. So remove that block and replace it with the colour, which is dark blue. And there we have it. Those three that make up the centre segment are closed. So that's the centre segment done. So I've gone ahead and put in the brown and the red segments. Uh, these are the mirror image of the diagonal sections. Uh, this one and that one. Uh, and they do uh, these left hand side diagonals here and here. Uh, as before, if you can't remember how to make them, uh, go back in the video to where I made these. And follow that, just remember to note down where you are in the video now, so you know where to come back to. So now for the last segment, the black segment here, which is the uh, the final vertical segment in the middle. Uh, a lot easier than the other vertical segments, so let's just get straight to it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a step three down, so one there, one there, and one there. So we've got one, two, three, like that. And then out two, up one, and get rid of those ones. All we need to do is come in here, put torch in there, a repeater in there, and a torch on the end of this one. Uh, now from here, put your redstone on there, get your final colour out, which is the black one, and there we have it. Go and check that. See that? Three segments. Three blocks there. Make up the middle segment. Done. So those are all the segments now in place. So there we have it. That's how you build a 16 segment display. I uh, hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, and I've included a download link for this world, which is literally just these two, uh, in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching.